Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang. Colin here, Festa 67's workshop. And this is part one of. Da -da. Yeah. It's the Ravel Muscle Mustang GT, but we're going to be doing it as the Death Race car. A photograph appearing soon. So, a quick little what's in the box before we uh, make a start. <clears throat> so you've got the usual instruction set. Let's just move that out of way just for a moment. And it's kit number uh, 8528389 even. Okay, so that's the kit number. Uh, there have been several reboxes of this since, so look out for them. Really, really simple instruction uh, on this. Engine goes together, engine detail, belts, pulleys, etc. The inevitable floating alternator. <laughs> Nod to Sergeant Bones there, that's something that grates him. Uh, headers. Um, all your different intakes, starter motors, hoses, and then obviously your sway bars, radiator, and undercar components go in there. And it builds up pretty quickly into the car, as you can see. With all of the said interior and exterior components. Well, we're as usual, not going to be doing a lot of that. So I'm going to build in sub-assemblies. I'm going to build the complete floor pan. I'm then going to do the interior or some of the interior. There's no seats going in because it's all getting chopped about. Um, I've got armor plates to design and fab for the underside. Modify the seats. Lose the entire side interior etc and hack the dashboard a bit um, and then obviously the body shell is going to have masses and masses and masses of armor to match the photograph just in the corner here so what i'll end up doing is digging out the bodywork and then i shall cover it with white masking tape and what I tend to do on these builds is once I've got the body shell covered in masking tape I sit it just out of shot there and I just white tack it to the top of a tub and I just sit there and whenever I'm at the bench I just look at it and in my mind I start envisaging how we're gonna pardon me how we're gonna get the kit together so without any further a do. Uh, there's the body shell and that's going to be heavily modified. I'm going to cut open the doors but they're going to be suicide doors so they're going to open back the front. Okay, shave off the door handles and then I've got panels to make for the roof, I've got additional armour plates to go on the side, the front and all of that. Same with a bonnet, that's got a lot of cutting to do so we'll pop that in place actually because all of this body shell is going to end up sitting on my bench for a few days the floor pan again we're going to have big sheets of armor under here protecting everything from underneath explosions and that and there's a baby fuel tank there but i'm going to fab a fuel tank because on the car in the film there's what's known as the tombstone on the back well when that's dropped all of this is missing and instead there's a huge fuel tank sat in there so all of that's going to get cut out and the fuel tank's going in because I'm going to be doing a removable tombstone and this is a commission build for a patron of mine so yeah 
so I'm going to really sort of go to town on it for him and uh, get it as finished as we can so that he can then add it to his diorama because he's building his diorama to go with this so it's it's kind of a mix and match so those will all go together so if I just pop that all in place for now and then we can safely say that we've got the car where we want it and I can just sit and faff with it at me bench until me heart's content so as near as damn it get it in place so like that will do for now so in that it's just going to sit there and then I'll cover all of this in tape and then I can get my pencil and start drawing out bits and bobs but we'll do that after uh, chrome wheels yeah I think we'll get them bleached dull the chrome down and then deal with them as and when engine block and bits and bobs so it's going to be a straightforward assembly job there and then I can detail all of that after same with the exhausts and the brake discs again you know give them a a bit of love and attention same with the exhaust pipe well, we've then got the interior see so all of this is going to be removed and shaved down and, and bits added and different binnacles so I've got some image downloads that I've done I've built a little file up of different bits and bobs so that I can get the interior as near as realistic to the film so you've got seats and, and panels here but I'm going to be losing this this door section probably the whole lot actually and I'll be putting in my own roll cage and things and looking at seats and stuff so quite a bit of this ain't going to get used it's a shame but then my Greedley's box is going to get some bits out of it so I don't mind that then you've got your radiator your land panels air intakes steering boxes and suspension differential unit and front cross members with the wishbones you've got some tyres and then obviously your glassware and decal set as well now the decals I ain't going to be using there's red stripes on the film car but they're very faded very battered and very weathered so same with the tyres I'm going to sand them and get them looking a bit more bald so that's what we're kind of looking at for it so all of that can go away and we can get out the masking tape and start masking up this body shell because we've got roof panels to do and and all of that so by doing it this way what I can do is I can sketch on the panels that I want and then I can peel off the tape and they become my templates for when I drop it onto the the styrene sheetage see so all of that can come off and then we do the same along the bonnet and we don't have to be super neat or super tidy and the reason I'm putting the join on here is because, yeah, the bonnet opens. See, so we want armour on this as well. See, so but once this tape has come off, all the sticky residue will all be washed off with a bit of IPA. So the whole shell gets a good old larrapin of that. But for the meantime, this don't look pretty, I know. 
I'm worried about that. Pretty doesn't come into it on this build. It's a death race car. Yeah. And I've actually been really looking forward to this. Um, and I know <laughs> I know the guy that I'm building it for is looking forward to it because he's been me <laughs> messaging me frantically. Have you started it yet? Have you started it yet? Cole, have you started it yet? <laughs> Which for me is very flattering because it, it shows that the, cust the customer's uh, interested in what I'm doing. So, yeah, I, I like that. I like the involvement. I like the, um, the excitement that, that it can bring people. So, I've been out of the commission market for about a decade. And I stopped doing them for a number of reasons, but uh, the guy that I'm doing this for, I won't, I won't name him because uh, it's, you know, it's respecting his confidentiality. Um, but he, he really has got this enthusiasm for the build, and we got chatting, and we, we sort of spoke about a few bits and bobs and they, they come back at me with a you know would you consider doing this for me and uh, i thought about it and mulled over the reasons that i had stopped doing commissions and, and sort of had a a bit of a think about it and, a, and i got back to him and said you know something you're a sincere geezer and for that alone yeah I'll, I'll 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 do you a commission but i wouldn't normally do them again but i don't know something about this build uh definitely um it helps when the people you're doing the commission for are very good natured people as well and you know he, he's got this enthusiasm for it that is very similar to how I approach my builds it's it's excitement it's yeah oh brill you know and that means a lot to a builder it certainly does to me anyway so we got that going on there uh, bring it up over the Aris like so and then we can trim all of this and neaten it up but it just gives me a complete canvas to draw on and then I'll remove the tape and, and chop bits off and add bits to it and yeah we'll we'll get on with it so believe it or not I can I can look at that and I can see what I can work with so there might be people out there going what the bloody hell are you doing well I know what I'm doing I've done it this way since I started it works for me other people might do it their way good luck to you if you do but that is now gonna sit just out of shot and I already know that there's going to be some. Uh, it's going to be pointy stick out because I don't want to draw it on yet. I've got some rectangular panels to go on the roof, as per the photograph that's still in the corner there. Modifications to the bonnet and then little shapes and things to add all around the exterior of the car. And that's what this is all about. So, there'll be random little bits of video popping up on the Patreon channel and it might be me just going, do you know something, I can't sleep tonight. So I thought I'd sit and do a little bit of sketching out on the, on the uh, Mustang and like I'm doing now, I shall just sit here and, and draw around shapes and, and, and start forming the contours of of the model on what I want it to do and then I'll get the knife out and remove any odd, odd bits that I don't want and we'll start getting 
the shape that we want and that's what it's all about see? so I'll start forming the windows and the, where the door shuts are and I am literally going to draw the car just like that see and it just lets you see what you end up with and it's the same with the windows when I do the windows there's a halfway guard that comes across the window on one side and then a louver the other so I'll use the windscreen as a template for that and make it to fit that and then it will fit over the windscreen so that's the plan anyway so we end up with the bonnet shut drawn on like so so that gives me a guide for that <clears throat> and I also centre line the car as near as damn it as I can. I do it by eye to start with. And don't forget in the movie this has been made in a prison workshop. So you're not going to have factory straight edges everywhere. It's going to be, um, you know, a bit of a, a, a mishmash. So... For a start, we can just centre line that and give that as near as damn it a centre like that. And I can start faffing around with the car then, see. So I'm going to pulse. Gives you an idea of what episode one's going to be and then I'll randomly film little bits and bobs as we go with it um, but I certainly can start looking at the photographs now of the car and uh, start sketching this all out and getting it looking like the Death Race Mustang or as near as damn it as I can to start getting ready to chop this to pieces so I'll pause there it gives you an idea of what we're up to and then like I say in the next episode we'll start really getting into this and uh, get all the drawing on done and then hopefully we can start with the body modifications cut the doors out that sort of thing all right guys and girls so I'm gonna love and leave you and catch up with you in part two it's a laugh for now